ready for this game okay so it's kind of like truth of dare <laughs> but but there's no daring involved okay, don't worry okay. Okay. Thank God. Thank no God. one has to strip because I'm, I'm so competitive I always do the dare she I wants, dare wants, you she wants to win at everything okay oh so I'm just gonna choose a question okay. and we're just gonna answer as brutally honest as possible and if you want to plead, plead the fifth and like not answer just take a sip okay <laughs> No playing with it. Okay, first question. Hmm. Um, okay, in terms of raising kids, what would you do differently from your parents? Oh, <laughs> we talked about that. <laughs> I, 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 I think for me, like, if ever I had any, we talked about this yes. earlier, was it with you? Mm -hmm. Earlier today, oh, actually, yeah. but all of us, is that I feel like my mom, because my mom and my dad were separated, I feel like, if that was to ever happen to me, knock on wood, I wouldn't hurt that that relationship between my kid and my and their mm -hmm. father. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of moms, it's like difficult for them to like not do that. To separate. Yeah. And also, like how? What do you I mean? think I told you that like recently I found out that she kept in touch with that side of the family. Or was mm -hmm. it you? That, you know, like, yeah. I was like, I found out that she still talks to my aunt. She still talks to like <laughs> to your father's side of the but family. But I never had to like. Definitely. chance to actually build that I have no idea who they are I don't know who my uncles are I don't know who same. my cousins really? are really? Same, same, it's same really on weird side, yeah nothing. my yeah, stepdad's family I know who Did they are but not my dad tell you like why they mm -hmm. kept you away from mm -hmm. your father's She'd side of the like family? your ugly ass daddy <laughs> <laughs> me, me the same it's just like <laughs> it's, just, it's resentment yeah, yeah. they don't like the father and so but they were like, so young yeah so you can't really fault mm -hmm. them and like we're obviously I'm older than my mom was when she had me but at the same time I feel like I would do everything I could to like make sure that my Mensa, my husband's mom, mm -hmm. um, she did everything she could to make sure that Mensa thought that his dad was the best dad, regardless right. of what was happening between I like, would do the same. like yeah, he too. thinks that his dad is just like awesome. I would do the same. My grown ups are grown ups, the kids are kids. Right. You That's should always try right. to protect your kids relationship with the father, no yeah. matter what's going on. But that being said, we're saying this because, you know, or, or we're friends, or right? Like, yes. but we're fine, and we don't yeah, have exactly. those issues. But if you have a, a partner, yeah. if you have mm -hmm. someone that was supposed to be your life partner, that yeah. was supposed to be your rock, and they are not, or they've disappointed you, or they they hurt you, yes, mm -hmm. it hurts differently. Yeah. Like it's hard to separate that, and all of a sudden be mature or rational. I couldn't like, agree more. <laughs> but I think I told you about the my sister mm -hmm. with her kids, like I. Uh, her baby daddy basically, because my sister doesn't believe in marriage, she's like Rasta, dread, like oh, okay. really? she's super, okay. Rasta. super opposite of me, okay. so dope. But anyway, really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I always say like she's so Jaya chill. Dreads. She's just like yeah. <laughs> she's small. She looks like Lauren Hill actually. Like, oh, really? like, like yeah. Cute. Anyway, yeah. like two years ago, like her baby daddy, like he's awesome now in the life and everything, but he wasn't really ready for kids and he didn't show up to like the father daughter dance. So I remember Aww. asking like my other sister Deidre, because there's five of us on that side, um, what does what does Sarah do? And she was like, she just called my baby brother, and like my brothers showed up for them, and she told the kids, Aww. Daddy had to work late. So oh, like she, she didn't bash she them. She didn't. She not covered. at all, because she, she didn't want them. that to affect the kids. The kids. Because you put your kids. I first. would definitely do that, yeah. but behind door. Oh, oh she. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, she Lord. went <laughs> off on her. I remember you a new one. Girl, he showed up this year with a tuxedo <laughs> on oh, and everything. Right. Okay. But when it happened, like she did, like what she had to do to make sure that her kids didn't have any daddy issues. Aww. Right. And I kind yeah. of, like, I was like, I don't know if I would be, the mom that would be able to do that. Right. Like to be able to be like, no, daddy had to work late. He's doing it for us. Mm -hmm. This and whatever. You would. I, don't, you I would. think you would. You, you know would. why you would? You would. Because yeah. when you see the hurt on your kid's face, you're like, I don't want you to feel that. Yeah. You know. So even if you have a lot of resentment, you are going to try to protect your kid as well. So you'll as be possible. that mom if anything. See what I mean? Yeah. But there's a oh, lot yes. of women who can't. And because you it. experience, you experience it. Yeah. Right. See, and and me point. too. My mom well. like hated my dad. Still hates my dad. And yeah. for me, I'm separated from my husband. But I don't. 
have anything really bad to say, okay. to be honest. You don't you know? feel any resentment towards them? No. Like, I think that what our parents weren't aware of and what they didn't do is, like, the healing. Okay. I feel like my mom hasn't healed. She never healed from okay. my dad breaking her heart. And that's what comes out because right. they're just, like, hurt and they don't know how to hide it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think like, when we first broke up, like, I was, like, crying and stuff. And mm -hmm. my son Hugo would see me. Aww. And, Aww. and but that's, like, real life, you know? Right. Yeah. For him to see me sad, you know? I want him to know that it is sad. You want him to understand it. That I am sad, you know? Right. Yeah, you don't want to hide it from him? No. Because, yeah, what about, like, it certain things are adult yeah. subject or certain things, you know, there's adult experiences and subjects and kids should be kids. For sure. Right. But so sometimes it just happens, like, spontaneously. Like, right. like when, it, when it was fresh, like, I would just be with him and I would be in the moment and I would just be, like, okay. Yeah. And how does he react? It would just come out. Up on that. Yeah, he, he does. He, he would just be, like, they come for you. Yeah. Well, I remember the first time I saw it. my mom cry oh, was when my stepdad died. Yeah. And she was like crying like a baby. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, what yes. do I do? Yeah. Like, it was like weird. And then my baby brother was four at the time. And I just remember him going on the bed and like cradling her and like, mm. and like Aww. patting her and stuff like right. that. And I was just so like, good for him that he's seen her do this like now. Because for me, I didn't know what to do. Right. Because I was older 16 mm -hmm. 17 i was just like older. what do i do mom was crying like a baby how like, old you said 16 i was 16 17? when my, my and how stepdad old was he? died four four, four. Mm -hmm. the little kids they mm -hmm. need toddlers they have more yeah i don't know i have mixed feelings about this because i remember at some point um so my mother was sick and my dad had injured his eye and it was just like a really a down time in the household mm -hmm. and i remember my dad being just so stressed out and like getting emotional and mm -hmm. it was like the first time I see my dad cry because yeah. you know you don't see yeah. your parents your cry, parents cry no. especially not your daddy you know <laughs> so it was like the yeah, first time and I was so shocked and I don't know if he forgot that I was in the room or that he was just so vulnerable that he said it he was just like I'm just so worried I'm not doing well your mom's not doing well like I don't know what's gonna happen like he was kind of saying his, his worries out you. loud mm -hmm. and as a kid I remember that really affecting me really? to a point yeah. where I was sad for a long period of time after because I was worried. And I thought, like, what if both my parents die? What am I going to do, you know? I, and I don't think that kids should have that kind of worry. I don't so think young. you. I was maybe eight. Okay, but you're older, though. Old? No, also, I think oh, my mom well. was in postpartum, right? Older. Like, mm -hmm. my dad died when she, like, mm -hmm. she had given birth, like, yeah. two weeks ago. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. So, like, she had, like, this two, three-week-old child, <gasps> and her husband died. Oh, so, I think God. that, like, her circumstance, because yeah. we had never seen her cry, I think that she just genuinely didn't know how, right. what, manage, how to yeah. manage it and, yeah. like, what to do. Like, imagine, right. like, my little Malachi was right there at three weeks, and then she was, like, at a funeral in Texas oh and God. like had to bring her kids from Virginia. I think that she was just Oh my goodness. Really I, I can't up. I can't even imagine. Yeah, I think that that I don't think that she would have if she knew like Right. I think that she cuz she she had been so and we had lost a lot of people in my family. Like okay. I've dealt with loss like as really? a, at a young age. Okay. And she never cried. Okay. So I think it really had a lot to do with her postpartum um Well, so for sure. Would just, like, I mean from your kids? I don't this know. I can't say if I would or if I wouldn't because I don't have a, a kid. Um, How do you know she was going through postpartum? She told you? My, uh, I, I remember after she gave birth and I remember her being sad. Mm -hmm. I do remember that. And I remember Pops saying to us, Mom, your mom is kind of sad. We're going to let her mm -hmm. sleep okay. a little mm -hmm. bit. But just for the record, mm -hmm. you can be... Like, even when you don't have postpartum depression after birth. You could just be sad. You could be sad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know lot. what it is. It's I just lot. I like, just remember her being so sad. I mean, sad. correct me if I'm wrong. We both have kids. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you, first of all, your body just went through so much. And emotionally, it's a lot. And all of a sudden, you are responsible for a whole new life. Like, your emotions are like this, yes. <laughs> okay? Yeah, she was like was really scary. sad. <laughs> yes, it's, it's scary. scary. The first kid is really scary. It's very scary. I remember scary. this one being different, though, from the other ones because it was her fifth kid. Okay. I remember it was different, though. Okay. Like, the way that she was okay, acting. Okay, so maybe it was postpartum. Yeah, like, okay. the, like, you knew it, yeah. Deidre and Derek, she would give birth, she came back, and it was, like, happy. She was, like, showing okay. the kid off. This was different. Okay. 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 It's mm -hmm. weird because it's almost yeah. as if she knew something was going to happen. Like, oh, it's really? almost, like, wow. it's really maybe. weird. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what would you do different? Um, 
About what? From that situation. Like, would you... Do I would have th- gotten would help. You? I would have oh, gotten help. Okay. I would have gotten help and mm-hmm. I would have... Uh, I would have had family around. Okay. We had no one because my mom had basically like cut everyone off, right? Right. Aww. So it was like us against the world in right. her mind. Got it. I think she needed her family around her. She needed some help. I think a lot of people it's like that nowadays because, yeah. yeah. you know, like back in the days, it used to be communities yeah, rallying around. The, yeah, like, literally, that's where the, the saying village. comes from. It yeah. takes a village to raise a kid. Yeah. And that, and even like after that, you you know, people had their church community yeah. Yeah. and stuff. But now, you know, church, people don't go to yeah. church no. as much. We're yeah. not part of, we're not involved in the community. So it's a lot more individualistic I agree. than it used to be. Yeah. And I think that's why, and anyways, that's my opinion. I don't even know why we don't go to church Depression anymore. is higher. Like, we just stopped going to church. Like, I grew up in the church. Like, my uncle was the preacher of our church. Aww. And then I just remember not going to church anymore. I don't know what Maybe happened. Maybe because it was forced. Drastic? When you were younger, I know for us it was forced. But my mom was the <laughs> one who was like forcing it, though. That's the thing. And then all of a sudden she just. Well, actually, so speaking of church, that's another thing. That's one of the things that I would do different with my children. I want to expose them to different types of religion Absolutely. and for them to choose. I think that's which one works Spiritually, for them. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. forced, like, Me too. Christian, church, you know, yeah, yeah, Protestant, yeah, yeah. like, down my throat. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> and that's probably why I don't go now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but mm. for my kids, I do want them to learn about it. Yeah. Because um, I do find value in religion. Um, and, you know, correction, spirituality. Yes. Mm-hmm. Spirituality. Yes. That's funny, I find yeah. value in that. And so I do want my daughter to learn about that. But I wanted her to choose Whatever she yeah, which goes path she yeah. wants. That is one thing I would definitely do different. And I don't know, you guys might disagree, but I feel like people should argue in front of their kids. Shouldn't. Should. Should. And, and let me explain. Okay, but you're, explain. Okay, but you're wait, wait, wait. saying how we shouldn't be sad in front of our kids, yes, but we're going to argue in front of our kids. The reason I say this is because I grew up in a household where my parents never argued in mm-hmm. front of, right, mm-hmm. in front mm-hmm. of us. And I feel like as an adult, I had to learn on my own kind of like conflict resolution and how to have a mature argument <laughs> without saying, screw you, <laughs> F this, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I do agree with that. And yeah. I feel yeah. like my I want my kids debated. to learn. Yeah, I want them to learn how to debate. They how never to get yelled their at point each other. Across <laughs> mm-hmm. Politely. Because yeah. there's a way to argue with, with people mm-hmm. with respect, without mm-hmm. cursing. Mm-hmm. My poor husband, mm-hmm. he doesn't curse at me, but mm-hmm. I throw <laughs> yeah. I throw the F bomb yeah, every once so in a while. <laughs> yeah. New York comes out. Oh, yeah, yeah. The New York in me comes out. And I'm like, F this, F you, F everything. And like, it's awful. I know you did. Hey, you said really? Yes, girl, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, when I get it, like it takes a while for me to get there. <laughs> but once I get there, it's like zero I see to you one hundred. Like, super sweet. <laughs> I usually oh, yeah. am. <laughs> I feel like that's actually a good point. I grew up with my parents debating. Yeah. And, um, and uh, she's been privy to this because of our past. But like, I've never. My parents never yelled, even with me. Before I, as you know, we talked before, before I even got a whooping, mm-hmm. my dad would send me to my room and like he'd leave and they'd come in and be like, do you know what's about to happen? What did mm-hmm. you do wrong? Mm-hmm. And I'd have to explain myself and I'd have to tr- articulate what I did wrong and actually explain oh, that I knew and stuff like that. And with Mensa. And then you get the spanking. And then I get the spanking. <laughs> but with <laughs> Mensa, <laughs> Mensa <laughs> tends to yell and like I'd be like, I need you to lower your voice. Okay. And then when I say I need you to lower your voice, it's like a trigger a to trigger, him. Yeah. And so I have to learn how to actually like mm-hmm. say lower mm-hmm. your voice <laughs> without it being a trigger yeah. because yeah. for me, yelling is like a trigger, trigger for me because yeah, yeah. I've never been preview to that as a kid. I never, like when my parents were about to get to the point where they were yelling, my dad would close his eyes and take a deep breath and count to 10. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Nice. That's really And good. if he opened his eyes and he was still feeling some type of way, he'd be like, <laughs> he like, counts to 10, dad. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I do that. Yeah. You had, you had really good parents, so. Yeah. You they realize. just never yell. You and realize. when he goes home with me and, like, <clears throat> my sip, we talk loud because we're from the South. He's like, would you guys <laughs> talk loud? And, like, my sisters and my, my, my mom and stuff, my mom says, like, talking loud is just our culture. Right. We don't yell at mm. each yeah. other. That's yeah. the difference. Right. Like, lower your voice. And when my mom said it to him for the first time, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Wow, but the other thing you were talking 
talking about planking the beatings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that what you would do differently? Yeah. I would definitely do that differently. You're really? not going to speak your case? You would, you would beat them differently. Watch out. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch out, little, little Tasmanian yeah. devil. My, the belt <laughs> But would you let other people speak not your case? Not the belt, but like... <laughs> no, but I had the belt. Listen. Yeah. But would you let like your mom speak your kids? No. See, my sister's weird. It's weird. She doesn't speak her kids, but she lets other people speak them. <gasps> That's a weird. little weird. It's that's weird, a, right? That's a little weird. <laughs> that's a little weird. Because you're either for or you're against spanking. It's weird. You're I'm not against it. it. Yeah. Okay. I'm totally against I'm it. I'm totally against it. How would you punish 100%? them? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I can't. I can't even yell at him. I, really? How do you punish him? I just talk to him, or I really? say, "Oh, go." <laughs> and then go. what? <laughs> or, I <go. laughs> or I say, "Okay, you can't have the iPad." You okay. can't do this. You're not gonna get this. Like, go to. I'll put him in the room. You know, or I'll just try to talk to him, and I'll be, and I'll try to explain to him like why, why? this is not. And that like, works. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, no. You know, See, the I'll way she be, answered, that I'll, does I not mean, work. Okay, he, he may be throwing a tantrum, but you know, I let him. How old is he? I, he's four. Okay. I let okay, him he's do a bit older. Thing. He can understand. And I just wait for him to fit out. You know, I let him. Oh, you wait for him to throw the. I, if he wants to yell and scream and cry, I'm right. like, okay. Yeah. I do wow, let Char I let though. Charlie finish her tantrum. Calm. That's With true. Your eyes. I do let Charlie finish her tantrums, whatever's going on, and then she'll just stop when she knows they get that, over that, it. Yeah, she's like, okay, they mommy's not paying me attention. She'll stop and exactly. then she'll do something else. Okay. However, I have like you know, a little tap on the bum for safety issues. Like, because oh, in the car, mm. sometimes she thought it was funny to, like, undo her seatbelt or take her oh. arm out. Okay. So for that, I would spank her so that she understands well, the severity this. of it. It's not the belt. No, it's not the I'm belt. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't go I mean, that far. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, our I think did. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the belt. Girl. I got slippers. Yeah. I, I, got I, got, I, got, I got, like, a wooden, like, uh, his, yes. like, fraternity yes. thing. He's like, come on, Dre. I'm like, I, what? But, a paddle? But I do think that spanking does have its place, but... Not the way our parents did no, it. No, my God. Yeah. Also, I don't think you'll have to spank all your children. Right. It depends on their personality. Yeah, they're as all well. different. Yes. Some kids are more sensitive than other my kids. My sister says her, mm -hmm. the baby, the boy will literally lie as he's getting a whooping. <laughs> but like, <laughs> one of her twin girls, she'll be like, I'm disappointed in you. And like, her world is like done. It's over. She's disappointed. Yes. Sensitive. <laughs> yes. Like, if, I, if I just yell at my son, he's like, if I actually yell him. at him and yeah. like kind of lose it on him, he's just like so heartbroken. Aww. So, so like, you don't need to spank him. I know. Yeah, like, to hit no. him, I would. I was like, why would I hit you? you know but he's right. like Aaliyah. Yeah. Something yeah. I would definitely do different. Right. Yeah. So it's that. So for me, what did I say it was already? I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot. Oh, the argue. argue. The yeah, argue. I would argue in front, in front of them. Yeah, yeah, so that they learn conflict resolution. Yeah. For you, it's spanking. For you, what would it Getting be? Getting help when it's. it's I would keep in touch. I would. I would get help. They'll have in, keep in touch with the family. If yeah. Anything. Happens. I keep the village around me. <clears throat> yeah. Right. So I feel like she didn't keep the village around us. Okay. Like okay. we don't have that extended. And what would it be for um, you? I would different. try to be more present. I felt like my par our parents were so like involved in their lives and their dramas or whatever mm. they're trying to hide from us or whatever it is right that they just didn't actually just kind of like be like hey I'm here. like how are you mm. oh. like how are you yeah. are you okay yeah i feel like i never ever had that okay, okay. you know and that my parents they weren't like bad parents or anything like that i felt like even as an adult i would want that yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I think it's just a culture like like right. we don't give ourselves that we don't ask ourselves like oh we ask everybody else yeah, how are you? How yeah. are you? We don't, like, this kind of, like, just, like, slowing everything down to be, right. like, oh, like, are you okay? Like, what's right. going on? Oh, I definitely yeah. felt, like, on the emotional side, um, as a kid, I would have liked to have more. Yeah. I feel like, and I, I think a lot of immigrant parents are like that. They were just worried about paying the bills, keeping mm -hmm. a house, you know. I totally get like it. Like, keeping totally a roof it. over our head. So that mm -hmm. was their focus to make sure that we had everything we need. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, the emotional aspect took Wasn't a back there. seat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So that's a good point. Yeah. But I think it's because they were probably neglected from their parents. Right. Mm -hmm. I, the trauma was worse right. for them. Mm -hmm. Were you raised... So you were raised in Los Angeles. Yeah, in LA. Yeah. Right. So how about cheers to us being better parents than Absolutely. our parents? Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but I still love you, Mama. <laughs> yes, we still love you. <laughs> yes, we still love them. They did what they I'm could. I'm not trying to get a whooping they now. They did what they could with what they had. <laughs> Bye today.